Hi everyone, this is Pawan and welcome back to my channel Dynamics. This is the sixth video in the ongoing CNC series in which we will build a CNC machine from scratch. And uh, in this video, we are going to build this power module or controller module for the CNC machine. As you can see, it has four switches. One is the main switch and the second one is the spindle switch. Third one is the uh, SMPS switch for the stepper motor controller. The fourth one is optional at this point of time. I will later add a dust collection system. And this is the speed controller for the spindle. As you can see, it does work. So uh, this is how it looks after everything. And I'm very happy with the way this turned out. So let's get started. This is the Arduino Uno board I'm going to use as the microcontroller for this uh, machine. And I'm going to use this alongside the Garbal CNC V3 shield. This board runs on the supply voltage of 12 to 34 volts. The first thing we are going to do is to mount the CNC shield on top of Arduino. For that you need to make sure that the power sockets are on both sides as you can see and uh, just uh, match the bottom side pins and make sure that none of the leads are actually sticking out if any of the pins or leads are sticking out and you press it it will damage the board so make sure all the pins are well inside the sockets and then press it gently into the place that will take care of it so this has uh, four drivers or sockets for four drivers x y z and a a is the additional driver that you can clone any axis you want to and that is done via the connectors here as I am showing so as you can see there are four pairs of or four quads of connectors X Y Z and A in order to clone an axis we are going to use a switch like this this is called a uh, micro cap uh, if you are working with micro electronic switches it is best to use a pair of tweezers like this and uh, since we want to clone the Y axis we are going to connect both the blue pins and both the yellow pins of the Y. So as you can see we are going to connect the pins next to the label Y. I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, there you go. So I have connected both the blue pins together and then we are going to connect both the yellow pins together and that takes care of the cloning of the axis. The next step is the uh, micro stepping and uh, basically the conventional stepper motor has uh, about 200 steps per revolution but you can increase the resolution by uh, this micro stepping. It has three connections MS1, MS2, MS3 and as you can see it can go half, one fourth, one eighth. If you go one, one uh, half it will go 400 steps per revolution. We will do one, one fourth that is 800 steps per revolution in this there is, looks like there is a mistake but uh, in order to do that you need to connect the center switches together. So I'm going to use the same micro cap to connect them together for all four of them. I'm just going to quickly do it. There you go it's done. And the next step is to mount these uh, uh, stepper drivers these are a4988 drivers they can pump up to 2.5 amperes of current the motors i'm using can take up to 2.8 amperes so these are fine and you have to make sure that the alignment is perfect in order to do that make sure that the uh, with your power socket on the bottom side make sure the potentiometers are on the bottom side the next step is the uh, current limiting Normally we need to connect the motor in series and make sure that the current through this is uh, within the limit of the rated limit of the motor. But the motors I'm using are 2.8 amperes and uh, this can support up to 2.5 only. So I'm just going to crank it up to the maximum. This is the four pin socket connector I'm going to use. And as you can see, the uh, board has four sockets for four stepper motor drivers or stepper motor connections. So we are going to connect all four of them.
and uh, we are going to also connect the SCL pin that is used for probing. I will talk about that in the next video and also one ground pin. These are all the connections we are going to make on this board. The next step is the uh, SMPS model module for the uh, driver board. Uh, we are using 12 volts, 20 amperes as you can see and uh, that goes to this place. The plus goes to the plus and minus goes to the minus as you can see. I just use a wire to connect them and it is done. I made this template for, for ease. I have uh, these connectors. They are uh, 20 connectors. Uh, this P stands for probe, ground and X, Y, Z and Y2. So you need total 20 connectors. That is four motors, probe, ground and spindle. Two connectors for spindle. That is totally 20. Now this will, repre this will represent the, uh, the plate on the controller module. So on one side you will have stepper motor connections and on the other side the board will be there. So you need to make sure that you provide the space for the wires through the plate. Now this is just a test case. We'll actually build the module differently. So there you go. The next step is uh, to simply connect the four uh, connectors to the right uh, connector. If you remember we discussed in the previous video also to make sure to follow the same order for all four of them. The only caveat is the YA or the clone axis you need to connect reverse because that motor need to turn in the opposite direction. Other than that, I have also connected the probe, ground and also I have connected the spindle wires also. Now spindle wire is actually works on full voltage or in this case uh, DC voltage 100 volts which is still dangerous. It can still shock you. So, so you have to make sure that uh, you're not going anywhere near that. This is a, temp a temporary setup, so this is fine. I'll continue like this. As you can see, I'm just connecting all the wires. You have to make sure that uh, the order is retained. And as I mentioned, for YA or Y clone axis, you just need to connect the wires in the opposite direction. That's it. We're done. We made all the connections. The next step is to hook it up to the board or the CNC V3 board. And uh, there you go. And uh, now I've connected everything. I'm using the UGS platform as a software to control this. I will take uh, all the software aspects of this in a different video. But for now, this is the just test case. As you can see, this moves reasonably well. This is the spindle I bought. Uh, it is uh, a 500 watt spindle and this is the speed control I got. This is a DC voltage 0 to 100 pulse width controlled spindle 0 to 100 volts with a speed control. I'm using this male plug to connect to the spindle. This will eventually go on to the and connect it to the female plug that we have used in the Z axis setup of this uh, CNC machine from the previous video. Reasonably straightforward. And the next step is to mount the spindle onto the uh, Z gantry. Now, if you remember, these uh, bolts go all the way to the uh, del, del ring nut and they are 52 millimeters apart which is a happy coincidence because that's exactly how uh, what is the diameter for the spindle i have put uh, rubber washers on these nut on these bolts so that it will not hurt or damage the spindle but then you can just go ahead and tighten it this is the chuck nut and the spring collet that came with the spindle this is 1 8 inch that is 3.175 millimeters that goes there and we will use two wrenches to tighten it this is the 1 8 inch end mill four flute down cut end mill which can cut any wood and aluminum you need to use two wrenches to tighten it there you go. And uh, next is the alignment. Now, if you remember, we have used everything properly. Everything was done precisely. So I'm not seeing any alignment issues, which is not surprising. But uh, still, we need to make sure that it is actually properly aligned. And it is indeed aligned. So this is the moment of truth. I did a test run and it worked exceptionally well. I'm using 3mm depth and I'm cutting 12mm uh, MDF. And it, as you can see, it is doing a really good job. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. The edges are also really good and the shape is also perfect. If you want, you can skip this part of the video because in this I'm going to actually show a CAD uh, 
design of the uh, controller i built uh, i'm sure there are uh, different ways to do this for example you can use a different type of controller or different uh, more more efficient one but i'm just going to use this and i'm just going to go over the way i built it that's all so once i have built the cad model i will export the g code all these aspects i will cover in a different video but at this point of time i just wanted to show how i built this there you go it is done the model is done i have exported the g code for this and uh, started using the machine now this is the same video i showed in the first video so i'm just going to skip over this i don't want to show this again i'm just going to skip to the end of it and as you can see it cut really well i'm very happy with the way this turned out as i mentioned earlier it took uh, about uh, 20 minutes to cut and once all the pieces are available i'll just make a test assembly once you can see there are some holes there meant for fans and uh, i just put everything together as a test assembly there you go let's uh, dismantle it and start putting the components into this this is the smps power supply model as you can see there is a fan and you need to align this fan to that hole we made i'm using double sided tape to hold it this is the controller for the spindle and i'm using double sided tape for this also these are the switches that we are going to use we need four switches one for the main switch and the rest of the three for the spindle motor control and optional i just mounted it on the top side using the screws all oh sorry this is the fan i'm going to use i got uh, two of these for 3 bucks the 12 volt fan it will directly connect to the 12 volts power supply the next step is uh, wiring i just stripped off core of one of the wires and connected all four Uh, positives are on sides of the switch one switch acts as in series and it is a main switch you turn it off all of the other ones are dead the other one provide power to each and individual module like spindle uh, or uh, spindle controller or uh, smps controller for the motor and the fourth one is optional for dust collection system it's as simple as that as you can see i have used mdf uh, pieces to hold the wires in place and there you go it's done so it took me about 3 hours to build this and uh, 2 2 and 1/2 hours to build this and the machine cut itself took about half an hour in that this is all for this video and uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video if you like this video don't forget to click on the like icon and uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks for your support